I uh, furnished a team of... We'd get to the old stone boat loader, and then we'd head for the fence line where we had a rocker. Wow. And... Okay, you break the dump break, and you dump in rows. Then again, we had to watch so you got them straight. And, and then you turn the stuff. <laughs> I sure piled the hay on them pretty fast. I got them trolled down. Yeah, that's it. The first milk deliveries, direct from the farm, were made from cans measured in dippers into the crocks or kettles provided by the consumer. Sanitation was poor, and the quality questionable by today's standards. But it was a step forward, and the demand for fresh farm products increased. After my parents took over the farm in 1946, my dad, a veteran, benefited from a program within the GI Bill that allowed farmers to get night classes in modern farming techniques. He learned how to test the soil, how to fertilize it, how to inoculate the seeds of legumes with nitrogen fixing bacteria. Then I bacteria. would take a couple of rounds while he was either planting or cultivating and uh, I would, we would share the coffee and the treats together. We put up a greenhouse to store some equipment, work on equipment, and uh, I think it was, it was Paul's intake here and Hugh Kurtz and uh, maybe Sonny Astuna that stopped by and gave us uh, some like, gripping on the of the farm as a vegetable farm um, back in the day um, with a lot, of, a lot of other farms around Cheshire. And sometime in the 70s or so, um, you mentioned of the greenhouses and, and whatever. Well, there's greenhouses back then too, but they grew a lot of their stuff for the fields inside. Um, the greenhouses before they went out for their transplant. And it was a story that my grandfather told me that um, a lot of his friends were coming by to get the first tomato plant or get the first whatever to get in the garden so they could have their first tomato. And they wanted to buy the seedlings that he had in the... Our a CSA, which, is, which stands for Community Supported Agriculture, which is a model for farmers that is growing a lot. In the last 10 years, there were probably 10 CSAs in Connecticut. Now there, I don't know if you can count them, there are scores.